Okay, in this video we're going to look at forming and solving equations. Uh, to do that, I'd re highly recommend watching the video uh, Forming Expressions on Corporate Maths and then having a look at this video which is Forming Equations and Solving Them. So, let's have a look at a typical question. Hannah is X years old. Sophie is four years younger than Hannah. Write an expression for Sophie's age. So, ha to get, obviously, if Hannah was 20, Sophie would be 16 because obviously she's four years younger. If Hannah was 30, Sophie would be 26. Notice we're taking the 4 away from, because she's 4 years younger, you're taking the 4 away from whatever age Hannah is. So the expression would be x subtract 4. Okay? Next. The sum of their ages is 32. Find each girl's age. So the sum, remember maths, the word sum means that you're going to add them together. So whenever we add Hannah's age to Sophie's age, you get 32. So what we're going to do is we're going to add x and x minus 4. So x plus x is 2x, and we've got minus 4. So you add them together, and you put that equal to the sum of their ages, which is 32. Okay? So the sum of their ages, so you add the algebraic expressions together, so you add x and x minus 4. x plus x is 2x minus 4, and that equals the sum of their ages, which that equals 32. And now you just solve this equation. So to get rid of the minus 4, you're going to add 4 to both sides of the equation. So you're going to get 2x equals 36. And then divide by 2, divide by 2, so you're going to get x equals 18. So that means that x, Hannah, is 18. So Hannah is 18 years old. And it means that Sophie, Sophie was four years younger, so that means that Sophie is 14. And if you just check, those two add together to give you 32. So that's obviously correct. So here's another question. Anne is X years old. David is three years younger than Anne. Ken is twice as old as Anne. And the total of their ages is 25. Write an expression for David's age in terms of X. Write an expression for Ken's age in terms of x. And then finally, form an equation in x and use it to work out Anne's age. So as you see with these questions, there will normally be a form an equation part of it and then the form of the equation part. So that's why it's very important to watch that video. So write an expression for David's age. So David is three years younger than Anne. So Anne was x, so David's three years younger. So you would take three away from her age. So you do three or x, subtract three. Okay, Ken is twice as old as Anne. So Anne is x, and to get Ken's age, you would times by 2. So for instance, if Anne was 10, Ken would be 20. If Anne was 15, Ken would be 30, because you're timesing it by 2. He's twice as old as Anne. Okay, so he's twice as old, so you would multiply Anne's age by 2. Remember in algebra, to multiply x by 2, you don't write x times 2. You put it together, and you call it 2x. So he would be 2x, 2 times, 2 times x, 2 times her age. Next part, form an equation in x and use it to work out Anne's age. So in other words, we've got to make an equation. This is the total of their ages is 25. So when we add Anne's age, David's age, and Ken's age, we get 25. So if you add x, x minus 3, and 2x, let's see what that would give you. Um, so x plus x minus 3 plus 2x, and that equals 25. Okay, so x plus x is 2x, plus 2x is 4x, minus 3, and that equals 25. So all I've done there, if I've added their, their ages together, their expressions together, so x plus x plus 2x is 4x, and minus 3, and that equals 25, how old they are. So let's solve this, add 3 to both sides. So you get 4x equals 28, and divide by 4, and divide by 4, so you're going to get x equals 7. So that means that x, Anna, or Anna, Anne, is 7. And the question says work out Anne's age. So Anne is 7. Okay, and that's it.